year around Wanlock Head and Lead Hills in Dumfries and Galloway was known as God's Treasure House. It was so rich in gold and lead. For these to be mined, shafts had to be dug, and to keep the area dry, water pumping engines of various sorts were used. This is an example of a beam engine or water bucket pumping engine. It's the last of its type remaining in situ in Britain. It was built around about 1870. The heavy wooden beam pivoted on top of a stone column, its axle enclosed within a brass bearing. At the end of the beam on the right hand side, a metal piston ran down into a wooden bucket. A tank above had been filled with water from a nearby stream and this water flowed into this bucket until the point where the weight of the bucket with the water was greater than that of the pump on the left hand side, which point the downward motion would lift water out of the mine at the rate of round about 7,000 litres per hour, one stroke taking about 30 seconds. This was a very reliable process and it could be left almost unattended for 24 hours a day. The shaft running down into Straight Steps Mine has been capped with a concrete block. The mine first opened in 1675 to, to dig for lead. A number of methods have been used to keep it from flooding, such as a hand-pulled rag pumps, followed by water wheel powered pumps. Operations ceased within the mine in about 1900. Most of the woodwork has been replaced on the beam engine, however the metalwork is substantially original. In front of the beam engine, the circular areas are where a horse gin once stood. That was used to provide power to help to haul the wagons out of the mine. This type of engine was affectionately known as a Bobbin John. From time to time, adjustments and maintenance needed to be carried out. And on the left hand side, a basic primitive sort of ladder was provided. Also, occasionally, for maintenance, the pumping rod had to be removed from the shaft. This is a more complex process and required a horse gin to haul it out. Originally, the lead had been transported using mule trains. The site had an extensive system of narrow gauge railways and also a standard gauge railway was built down to Elven Foot. Menock Lye, the bottom of the Menock Pass, also had a good station on the Glasgow and Southwestern Railway line. <laughs> 